Hey what's going on guys, um, today I want to actually try and remove the chrome door strips that came with the Mark II. They're actually a factory uh, turret option, I think a dealer option that they put on um, when the car is brand new. So these ones have been on the car for a very long time, you can just see it there on the door um, and there as well. So they've been on there since the car has basically been new, so it might be a little bit tricky to remove. Basically what I want to do is try and remove um, one of the, the back door ones. Uh, they're actually in two different pieces. So if I can remove the lower one and be able to polish it back and remove the residue and get the color to match, um, I'll then work on the rest of the door, um, the higher trims as well. So yeah, that's what I'm working on today. So what I've got is just a heat gun and some fishing line hoping that this will let me sort of remove it without damaging the actual chrome strips. I don't want to pull back on the chrome strip just in case I do end up finding that the paint doesn't match and I need to put it back on. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll start working on that. Um, as you can see they're in two separate pieces. Uh, same thing on the front doors. And yeah they've been there since the car's been brand new so Let's see how we go. So it's been a while since I've used this. Let's just make sure it works. Seems to work fine, so... I'll just heat it up very, very slightly. I don't want to heat it up too much that we end up um, getting the paint to melt. It's not the idea. It's definitely cutting through the tape. It's going to be a little bit messy trying to clean that tape off, I think, because it didn't quite cut exactly how I was after. But there we go, so this is off. That's the chrome strip. Um, double side tape on the back. If I do end up having to put this back on, I'll have to redo that double side tape and the one on the actual door seems to be coming off without um, much of an issue I'll just show you close up. Uh, if I just angle this back. So it seems to have come off okay. The paint doesn't look too bad under there. Um, with a bit of polish, I reckon I can get that, that line off as well. That's just a line of dirt, I guess, that's built up um, over the time there. So I've got here some polish an applicator and a microfiber towel. <coughs> Haven't actually used this particular polish before. But I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so there's a tiny bit on there. Work it in. Okay, I'll let that soak in a little bit and then I'll wipe it off. Okay, just wiping it off now. And that's almost perfect. You can't tell that there was a chrome strip there. 
So that worked out better than I actually hoped for. Um, now the hard bit, I think I should be fine on doing the front, front lower ones. The hardest bit is going to be this, uh, the higher, the upper. The hardest bit is going to be this upper back door. So I think maybe let's try that one out. Double side tape actually feels a bit different on the top ones. Okay, so that's off now. Now I've got to remove all the remaining residue. I've been struggling to get this one off here. Um, I did try some isopropyl alcohol and it loosens it up quite a bit, but I've actually run out. Um, I'll try and see if there's any more somewhere in the cupboard. Kicked on there and get that John in the boil there. Good. Alright, so we're going to give this door a break and then move on to the front door for the time being and we'll come back to the rear door maybe afterwards. So this one actually came out pretty good, the bottom one. We're just about to work on the top one now. Okay, so this side's pretty much done. I'm going to continue the other side probably tomorrow, but it came out pretty good. What we ended up having to do is to get some of the residue out, we grabbed a clay bar, clay barred it, gave it a wax, and, and yeah, it looks really good now. Very happy with it.